Mark, I'll ask you about the Dutch Open. And like, be honest, guys, like there's some names in the European Tour you probably have never heard of. There's other names in the European Tour that might actually ring a bell. And one of my selections tonight plays out of Sea Island Golf Club. So oh. hopefully you can give me a bit of background information on yeah, this guy stateside. Yeah. So yeah, the top of the betting board, you have Thomas Peters at 13 to 1. You have Brandon Grace in and around a 13 to 1. Sam Horsfield at 16 to 1, Thomas Detry at 20 to 1, Dean Burmeister at 20 to 1. But to be honest, I'm going to steer away from that range purely from a price play. Alexis Sam Horsfield last week was sitting at 70 to 1. He drops to 16 to 1 this week. And that sort of gives you a feel for how weak the field is overall. Yeah. So I'm dropping down to the 26 to 1 range and I'm going to take the home course boy, which, you know, I'll say with a caveat like Juiced, L- Juiced Luton, not to be mistaken with Juke Take Lutton. <laughs> of the Jackson. I franchise. love you. Yeah. Juice. So Juiced Luton is my first selection at 26 to 1. Listen, Juice Luton would... at Sea Island? No, 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 no. Oh. I'll get to the Sea Island boy. Don't worry. I'll get to the Sea Island boy. No, no, calm down, is... DB. Just calm <laughs> yeah. down. This is Let's the thing. Let, like... let Mark do his thing. I mean, we're in the we're in the first like few minutes of Mark's <laughs> career with the tour junkies, and you can't let him do his thing. Just let him talk. But on the on the betting side of things, Juice Luton, I would absolutely be on side of. Um, the reason I'm saying steer away from DFS is because everybody's putting his name out there. He plays out of Bernardo's Golf Club where he's played this week. But the big thing with that is it's only a, co- a couple of years old. It's a new course. We're still getting a feel for it in general. How that is his hometown club, I have no idea. But he's playing this week. He's playing out of that club. Um, in general, he is in very good solid form. Um you know, he's, he's playing at this hometown club and his big weakness is around the green. So the ball striking side of things, he's ticking the boxes around the green. He's weak. But my, my my background and my thinking on that is that if he's weak around the green or that that's where his weakness is, if he's got some familiarity with the golf course itself, then hopefully that ticks the box to, to sort of offset that weakness. So that's uh, Juice Luton at 26 to 1. The next one I'm going to drop down to is Shubhakar Sharma at uh, 30 to 1. So on recent form, I sort of... If we take Fantasy National, most of us are used to Fantasy National. We we look at the last sort of 24 rounds, last 36 rounds. So I've looked at the last 24 rounds, and Sharma grades out second overall, and you're getting him a 30 to 1 at the minute. So in this field in recent form, he's doing well. He's gaining strokes around the board, apart from around the green again. But he, he's sort of knocking on the door the last few weeks. He's hitting form generally. He hasn't quite hit the top five yet, but a 30 to 1, and the fact that I'm avoiding that sort of top range within the, the field in terms of price, 30 to 1, I'm more than happy to get on board. Um, next guy on the board is Marcel Sim. He is a German guy who came through the Challenge Tour, made the step over. Uh, I think he did play some PGA Tour events, um, but he, he sort of stepped up from Challenge Tour to European Tour now. Um, he's coming in at 40 to 1. And again, last 24 rounds, he's grading out sixth overall. So definitely one to keep on side. And then the next guy is the one I'm going to throw at you guys. Now, he does not take the ball striking side of things. But recent form, he, he's shown a few <clears throat> things that are sort of catching the eye. Um, and he plays out of Sea Island. And can you guess who it is? He's an American, plays out of Sea Island, golf course. I haven't looked at the field, so no, I have no I have no idea. Paul Peterson. Does the name ring a bell at all? No. no. Okay, he, he he's probably bluffing that Sea Island. Like Zach Costa, like CPA <laughs> or something. Here? This is Paul Peterson. Paul Peterson. He has one to, he has one on the European tour before. He's sort of been oh. off the radar, but he's sort of knocking on the door form wise the last sort of five, six weeks. He did fairly well at the Czech Open, which is or Czech Masters, which is a fairly similar field. So he, he sort of hit my radar this week that form wise and price wise at sixty six to one, he's worth a stab. And yeah, he, some of those top five, top top twenty markets. Yeah, sounds like a DraftKings play too. Yeah, he's going to go under the radar because he's not picking some of the traditional boxes that you want to see for a golfer that's going to this sort of nice open course that that, that will sort of lead to, to everyone going on the ball strikers in the top of the field. So 66 to 1, he's one that's definitely catching my eye. And the last one I'm going to touch upon is, uh, I believe he's another American, Chase Hanna at 100 to 1. So this guy, if we look back a month ago, he was on an absolute heater. He was on Challenge Tour, European Tour, bouncing back and forth. He hit uh, six top 10 finishes, but he was playing every single week. And I think a bit of fatigue kicked in. So if we look back to the Czech Masters, which I feel is sort of low grade field, around the same as the Dutch Masters here, he was coming in at 33 to 1. You can get him at 100 to 1 this week. So for that, it's predominantly a price play. He's showing glimpses of form. Let's say he hit those six top 10 finishes uh, a couple of months ago. He's had that little bit of a break. He dropped back down to the Challenge Tour. 
now he's stepping back up. Um, like in that in that run of form, he was given gaining seven strokes on approach. And if you're giving me someone who has that in his locker, I'm more than happy to get on side at 100 to one. So that's that's my last guy that's going to round out my betting card for this week.